Tell me a little bit about your uh, work. Yeah, so basically you can see here, it's uh, like a colonoscopy, and yeah. when the patients need to do the surgery, like a diagnostic procedure, the doctor needs to thrust a very steep tube inside yeah. the body, and it makes you very painful. Yeah. So here we are to just uh, ease the pain, and we use a very soft tether to control the uh, like ah. tiny capsule to move inside your body. You and see tethers? So it's Tether? It's like, yeah, the yeah. wires here. Yeah. Uh, so it's going like this? Is it something is small? No. Oh, okay. It's like this. It's ah. entered from the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is the purpose. And this is the theory. So when it's impacting inside, and it can move the uh, capsule forward. And then we use, actually, we use four coils inside the, inside the capsule. So it forms two pairs. A1 and A2, yeah. A1 and B2. And when you excite A1 and A2 using the PWM signal, yeah. so it's vibrating. And also you turn on B and B2, so there's a torque that push the caps, push so the inner magnet. So the tether is you're sending a PWM signal. Yeah, and also the power. So okay. both the control and the power are in the same wire to control the uh, wire, to control the coils. Yeah, and uh, when you turn on B1 and B2, B1 and B2 so the magnet, the blue one, can just lock in the, their position. And because this is a freely moved ball bearing, you can yeah. see here, so it needs the force to be locked in that position so that A1 and A2 can work. Yeah, yeah so, so when in this setup, so A1 and A2 are vibrating the magnet yeah. and they can move like backward left or forward right. Thing. Yeah, and when you turn on B1 and B2, and you make A1 and A2 to lock in a position there, so it can move like backward right and forward left. Yeah. Yeah. Does it make sense? So that, it makes sense that it, it, it moves like, well, in what direction does it move? Is it forward, back like that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. For, so, so forward left or backward right. Yeah. So it moves either here or here. So how do we control either here or yeah. here? So we use different frequencies and duty cycle of the PWM signal. Smart. Yeah, and then, then with the different frequency and duty cycle control parameter, we can just uh, turn it like backward or forward. Yeah, so basically we were doing like control the frequency and duty cycle to make a coil moving like, uh, make the capsule move like on a straight line. Yeah. And in this work, we use four coils so it can move with orientation. So that's the purpose uh, the, uh, of why we're self with orientation control. So that's the title. Oh, yes. Yeah. And you can see the maximum speed on the plane are quite fast. But when we apply on the real portion intestine, yeah. it gets slow. So there needs some optimization yeah. so before you can actually go into the human body. Yeah. In the human body. Is this the speed in a, in a human body? Uh, on this kind of environment. Okay. So it's just a pain as... In 40 seconds, it moves like this much. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, uh, on this mill, does it have a camera? Uh, you can. So actually, we are, con uh, we are like, uh, doing the collaborations with some companies that are providing the device that you can carry here at, at yeah. the box. And there's cameras on the capsule. and. Actually, it's just a PCB uh, board with an antenna, yeah. and then you can transfer the image wirelessly from the antenna to the to the device. And then when you finish all the journey, you can just take the same card from. Uh, it's not. It's a storage card. It's like a camera camera storage card, yeah. and you put okay. it on the computer, and all the images will appear oh. there. So it's all we, uh, It's all like a virtual. We, yeah. All we need to do is to implement the the camera inside here. And yeah. Why do you need the tether again? It's for the coil. Yeah. To Did generate. it work on a battery? So that's one interesting uh, topic. Yeah, I I will rely on the development of the battery to have that capacity. Yeah. <laughs> because you need that like power consumption to go through like the go through the whole journey, right? Yeah. 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 Because to go, you know, the distance from, I guess, where does it need to go inside? 
I actually, yeah, when the doctor do the surgery, at first the, the destination needs to be there, and they yeah. will slowly pull out to see clearly the environment there. So the first uh, goal was to just travel faster until here, yeah. and you pull and out. To, uh, uh, while you pull out, you do the diagnostic. Yeah. The time that it takes to go from here to yeah. here, yeah. right now, what do you estimate it as? Oh, it depends on the gastro skills of the gastro gastroscope. So when you are very familiar with the equipment like this, you need to control the teeth yeah. and everything, and you might get faster. But when you're like learning, it's just a, 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 a nightmare. Yeah. Because I, 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 would, I try to learn and they, oh, they yeah. have this kind of flex, uh, flexible endoscopy in our lab. Yeah. It's a nightmare. You yeah. sweat and you can't just get through the corners. Yeah. Yeah, it takes maybe half an hour to get there. Yeah. And yeah. with the robot, how long does it take? Anticipate it. Um, yeah. That still needs to be, the speed needs to be increased as the future works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. The, the, I can't see, I can't tell, but definitely the doctors won't sweat yeah. because <laughs> you don't need to push for, oh, yeah. how can I just get... And can, the patient is awake while this is happening? Uh, some patients need sedation, some patients yeah. doesn't. So it depends on patient whether they choose to just uh, uh, get sedation or not. Okay. Yeah, so... so Patients sometimes are awake, sometimes are just so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much.